Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the kickoff of the one by one series from the back of the Jeep today. It was six years ago this month that I carved my first little uh, hillbilly, made a video on it. And uh, since then, everybody and their brother has a, a variation of it, but uh, I thought it'd be great to kick off our little one by one series by carving a little, little two inch hillbillies. Real fun, fun, easy. I love them. I'm hooked. Obviously I've carved like seven of them to be ready for this video, but uh, I, I love this little project. So I'm gonna set up here on the back of my Jeep here. And uh, I should have dusted it first, but that's besides the point. And uh, let's make one. Before we start today's project though, I want to take this time to thank today's sponsor of the video, which is none other than Wood Carving Illustrated. You know Wood Carving Illustrated is full of tips and tricks and plans and tools and stories and you name it. If you're a wood carver, uh, you got to get the Wood Carving Illustrated magazine because it's very worthwhile. But they've been kind enough to uh, give me a little promo code, LINKER, all caps, L-I-N-K-E-R, all caps. And uh, with your subscription at woodcarvingillustrate.com, they'll give you some little freebies, some little extra downloads, some little plans and, and such. So check it out and uh, yeah, let's carve a hillbilly. You can go over here, you can go over here. <laughs> uh, no, you go here. This is the side over here. Okay. So the back side. All right, I got my little uh, two inch block of wood here and you already know the drill here. We're going to uh, mark our centers roughly within reason. It just keeps us honest while we're carving and uh, helps us know where we are. All right, uh, we know our gnome has feet, so we're going to mark the bottom for feet and that's a, that's a healthy uh, quarter. We'll whittle them down later again, but uh, yeah, we know we have a nose. So let's say the top of the nose is, I mean, honestly, we're just guessing here, but let's go half an inch and then we'll keep our nose almost the same, all right? Half an inch, three eighths, and we'll make it, we're going to make it square right now, okay? Very, uh, very straightforward, all right? Now, if this was, uh, let's say, the top of our nose, well, let's 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 just do this right. You can see that our hat is curved. All right, so we're just gonna curve that around like that. Let's say halfway, say halfway in the nose. All right, curve it around. Put a little tick on each side here, and then let's take that bottom of the nose. Let's bring it around the back and just drop it just a hair, all right? So that'll be the back of our hat, all right? Kind of join these lines up like that. So we got a little bit of an angle to the hat, all right? And again, don't get, get caught up with this because this is just rough. We're gonna be working our way through. And then if that's our feet, let's raise our pencil up, you know, another eighth of an inch. And that'll be the, uh, our butt crack here, or the bottom of our, our butt seat, I should say. Okay, and really, that's just that's enough to get us started. So I'm going to use my little trusty uh, Helvy inch and three quarter, but you use whatever you got. I highly recommend Flex Cut, Drake, OCC tool, deep hauler knives. I mean, the list goes on and on. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna work from the corner. I'm just gonna set the uh, the feet in place here. All right, go across. I trust you have your carving glove on, especially with these little guys. Like I said, I would recommend if you're doing this, especially as a beginner, I'd recommend getting a longer piece and holding it uh, down low so you don't have to hold the tiny piece like do a triple 
do a six inch piece of wood and you have three of these guys right but there we go we're just setting it in there depth is your friend we don't want to get too uh shallow that's what the enemy of carving is shallow so i'm going to knock off these corners and bring it in here like that all right just like so all right and then pencil lines will smudge off so let's just put a little v-cut right now so we always know where our center of our feet are okay we can set in the little butt seat here too and again just going in on an angle working up to it i'm not going all the way to the bottom but pretty close Same thing with the pencil line here. Let's mark that. Just so that when we rub, not if, when we rub the pencil line off, that we'll always know that that's the center. All right. Okay. Now, let's take an eighth of an inch here. Let's mark roughly an eighth of an inch there. All right. And basically all we're going to do is angle those feet back like that. All right. So just from about there, we're just going to cut one sided like that. Just like so. All right. And we'll knock a bit off the bottom. There, see that? Our feet are angled. All right. That said, the front here too. We're gonna angle them accordingly as well. All right. So. I actually like to kick them back a little bit too. You see that? A little bit of a back angle. All right. But anyway. We're getting ahead of ourselves, so let's take uh, the front side here. Let's just knock off these corners. All right. Pretty much to the side of the nose. All right. Just to shape them a little bit better. Instantly makes it nicer to hang on to, too. And the same thing in the back. Let's go down. Remember, if it starts splitting, just go the other way. Right. Now, you don't really need to, but you might as well draw these lines back in for the hat. All right. There we go. Right away, I'm going to take the uh, bottom of the nose here. And come down on a, a slight angle but what I want to tell you here is go deep that nose is a the prominent feature of our little guy here so we want we want to see it all right we want to get that we don't want a flat nose all right on the top here all right Coming in here. And we'll remove some wood over here. On our lines. It's a little V cuts right now. We'll get her all sorted out after. Alright. All right. So that looks very square. So now I'm just going to take my knife. And I'm going to come around. Try to get that angle. Alright. I'm going to dig in. Right around with my point of my knife. Let's really undercut that. All right, there. Okay, 
Let's go right around this whole guy here and just set that hat, bottom of the hat in place. Remember, there's going to be no square corners, so even when we see that, we're going to we're going to round it, all right? Back side. All the way around. Yep. All right. Our nose. We're going to have a nice big nose. I'm just going to come across. We're going to go in straight to start with. Don't dig in too far past here. We just want far enough that we can run our knife nice and clean. Right there. See that? Okay. Let's bust that chip out of there. Right. Now we'll take the corners off it, and this is how we're going to round it. We're not going to uh, try and round with our knife. We're just going to uh, keep knocking corners off. Right. And that's how we're going to make our nose round. There, I'll, I'll backtrack a little bit here. So when I want to take that top angle off of here, I'm going to go in a little bit deeper. All right, I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to put a little extra little V cut in there. See that? I got some get some depth in there. All right. So when I angle the top of that nose, I'm going to go a little bit deeper, and then come down under the hat too, a little bit deeper. And then I'm going to pop that chip out of there. And then we've got our hidden, our eyes are hiding in there. All right. And now we just go about just nice little tiny cuts. And we're just rounding. All right. Keep your carving clean if you chew up a little bit. Just take an extra little slice off of there. Clean her up. All right. Put a little fuzzy in there. There we go. So now we got a lot of extra here. So we got our basic shape here. So I'm going. I'm going to take the tip of my nose, and now I'm going to just kind of outline that nose with my knife blade. Maybe a little bit of an undercut. All right. Let's go around again. What happened? Come on. leave that nose alone right now here's a good idea if you're filming yourself uh, whittling put in a fresh battery <laughs> I just about lost it anyway that's where we're at right now let's uh, let's shape this beard a little bit just by bringing it in taking the angles off of it All right Now let's uh, looking at this hat. Let's look at some of these hats here. We've got the little 
kicked over hat. Get a little softer rolled over hat. If you wanted to uh, add a, this is a two inch piece. If you want to do a two and a half inch piece or a three inch piece, you could do a, the perfect uh, gnome hat, paint it red, and you got a gnome, right? So, anyway, I'm just going to uh, start, start curling that up there. Just give him a little flicking, flicking little cuts to start off all around the hat before we really decide which way we're going to go with it. Going around the hat, I like to make it a little bit rounder in the square, All right? And then you can come down a little bit lower and you can get some more height on the top of the hat. You don't want to hear that chatter noise that I just made like that, though. Right. Kind of a slicing curl. See that? How it's like just kind of pull, pull and lift at the same time. That helps you to get that little curled cut. Right. So, we have to decide, do we want to curl our hat over? And if we do, well, we'll just put a big V cut in one side of the hat, right? Just to start it off. Bring it around the front a little bit. And just knock it over, right? Just knocking it over. Clean up the top. Saw marks. Right? But it doesn't take much more than just that. Right? So, and again, like always, I don't like really fine edges. So this is actually pretty good. But you don't want to come out to like a razor thin edge on the hat because sure as shoot kids are gonna drop it or whatever and that's where it's gonna break all right so you know you can uh you can put another little divot on the other side a little v cut over here just to show some some wear and tear you can put a little little v cut in it if you want to let's say that this uh this hat's been around all right Okay. Well, I think I'm getting too much sunshine here. I have to bring you in a little bit closer. We'll, we'll curve this way more. And bring the, the back up a little bit. Like so, see that? And uh, we're just about ready for some arms, but before we do the arms, let's finish up the butt here. So I got that little center mark there, so let's widen that, or make it taller, I should say, all right? Come on, come on. Okay, and then from there, all I'm gonna do is put some little V-cuts, like that. I'm gonna clean that out. I have a nice little little V bottom in the on our fella here. And we can round that a little bit. Soften her up. When we put the arms in, that's gonna shape, give us a new shape here. So okay, grab our pencil here. And uh, we can still see our center line. Okay. So where we've got to uh, That cut here, we're just coming. I know you can't see it. Here. How are we gonna do this? I'm just gonna put a little, a little line parallel to kind of the shape 
that angle there. All right. Got my center line here. I'm just going to give it, uh, oh, I don't know. Like that. What are we going to do? I got some shade. We'll figure this out. There we go. The old jacket over the tripod routine. <laughs> okay, so that's the center. All I did was that's the original center line here. Okay, I'm just giving that like half an inch. We can even come back a little bit. All right, but that's it. Very simple. And the only thing that I caution is don't make them too skinny. If they're too skinny, they look silly. But I'm going to take my knife here. I'm just going to stick it right in. We're going to like that. Same on this side. I'm sticking it right in. Now you only want to do this preferably once. Okay. So imagine you want at least a good 3 16 Okay. I'm just going to take my knife and just... Pop that little chip out of there. We just don't want a whole bunch of uh, lines, right? You see that? Yeah. Let's do it on this side again. Sticking my point of my knife right in there. Both ways. Once again, for good measure, I want to pop that out. Nice, like that. Okay. And we look at that, make sure our, our inside elbows are the same height. And I think that's okay. I'm going to angle these back just a little bit. Take that sharp edge off there. We're not going for a flat plane. Uh, Hillbilly here. Okay. I think you can see that. Alright. Now, I'm going to uh, come across on those lines that we put in there. Alright. I'm going to angle it down. See that? Make sure you can see it on this one. Like, come in like so. Alright. We're gonna bring it down like that. All right. From the elbow up too, we're gonna bring that in a little bit too. So we want our elbow sticking out the farthest. All right. Now we're gonna take our line here. We're gonna come down to that line. All right. We a little point in there. We're going to cut that up. That's it. Oh, sunshine. What are we going to do with you? I don't know. I'm fighting. I'm fighting the sun. But that's what we got anyway. Alright. So gonna take that knife and come down like so to the pocket Good. the point in at the top of that pocket and I'm just gonna come across here and I cut that like so All right. there we go let me look at the back side and uh, They look pretty much the same, right? There. And there. So then I'm just going to draw, for your sake, some lines here. And we're just going to cut in. Cut in. And we're just going to bring that arm around.
I think so. All right. I got to figure this out. There you go. Just turn the Jeep around, he says. Okay. So we got our elbows here. I'm going to put a couple little uh, creases in his uh, fabric there. Always like to do that. There's a cheat here too. Let's say that you, uh, let's say that you arm is wonky and you made that too low or whatever, and it's not even. You, by doing these, you can uh, you can scooch that little uh, inner inner elbow up or down with just with the creases, right? But like I said, since this isn't flat plane. We can just take some little scoops out of the back of that, and uh, yeah, give them some some movement. Get rid of all these little super super square sharp lines. All right. But, okay. Round that bum a little bit. these big straight lines now buddy here he's got uh, he's got a shirt on although you don't really see it on the front because of the beard he's gonna have a shirt in the back here so let's just draw a little draw cut a little line here come up give him a shirt Just like so. And again, you can put a little crease in there. You can put creases in the back. You can put creases anywhere in the back of the hat. They're little carvings, but you can give them uh, quite a bit of detail if you really want to. So, again, so now I'm looking straight at this guy. I can't see his shoulders. The beard and the shoulders are pretty much even, okay? So let's bring that in. I would like to see the shoulder. See that? So bring the beard in. that better all right now the beard itself just above these pockets we need to actually we can go with the pockets if we want and just bring that beard down yeah. and then across the bottom We're just ending his beard is all we're doing. There. I like it. Feet. We got our feet cut like that. Same thing here. We're going to give him some... Uh, Cut a V cut a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. We'll take that out. Right. We we'll separate the feet somewhat more, somewhat more than a word. Okay, and then we can take our knife here, and we can just split the legs. Now be careful. You can start digging a hole here, so just try to do it once, and just run your knife down, and try and get that out as clean as you can, because once you start digging, it could be an endless pit, so, 
I'm okay. I got one little fuzzy in there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Legs are, are split. That doesn't look very nice. See what I'm saying? And we can keep going back and forth here. There, I can live with that. That's a better split. Okay. That's where we're at. We can round the beard. I kind of like a kind of like that flatter bottom of the beard though. All right. pants I like to do the pants just a little angle like that and up and around and I'll show you with my knife I'm gonna go like so I'm gonna bring the shoes into the pants all right and then right where the pants meet the shoe I'm gonna take a little extra off the corner of the bottom see that now that really kind of highlights the shoe do the same idea over here. Oh, a little bit. Like so. All right. Take that bottom edge off the shoes all the way around. Do a little V cut this way in the bottom too. When we do this, it just gives that little shadow when it's sitting on a flat surface. All right. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? This gives a little shadow under the under the shoes. All right. But pants, we're gonna carry on now. Get your fingers out of the way, and so so I can't stress enough. So carefully, I'm just sliding my knife, just a slide. All right. And then I'm going to slide back to that cut. See that? Again. Very little pressure. I'm just going to slide it across and cut it down. All right. Again. Just super cut. You know that foot is going to break off so fast. You won't even know what happened. All right. So. Slide across, cut in. Slide across, cut in. Right. And one more, and we're home free. Right. There, and that's how the pants go over top of the feet. All right. I'll just round those shoes off a little bit. If you want to, you can uh, put the soles on the shoes just by a little V-cut. Right. <coughs> Excuse me again. I got a tickle, but I'm not going to do that. If I had a little V tool, it'd be zippity zip and done. But I think we gotta get moving. All right. So we're on the homeward stretch. <laughs> what I like to do is uh, also just keep looking around, keep everything clean, so that when it comes to paint time or oil or whatever, there's nothing, nothing left undone. All right. Keep seeing these little fuzzies around, but the mustache. I've done a few different things here, so I'll show you. I put a mouth on this guy. Maybe not my favorite. This one here, I actually gave cheeks and eyeballs. Don't care for that either. 
I love the simple little beards, and by changing the mustache, you change the look of the, the character. All right? So, you decide what you want to do, but I'm, uh, I like this one here. Just a very simple, very simple little, there we go. We don't need a mouth. We don't need... You can do lots of details on this guy. Or you can do very minimal details. And uh, you can decide which one you like better. But I'm a fan of... Uh, in the mustache and beard. The minimal approach. And just give him a little... A little V cut. Now, of course, I got. A, I drew it on, so I got a pencil line. Cut that off of there. No. That's it. All right, let's just look at our fella all around. Like I said, if you want to make the hair with a V-tool or or whatever, you can do that. But, uh, oh, what can I do here? Take all these harsh, hard lines. There are no hard lines in your pants. So we can soften all these corners up here. We can, uh, Again, put some creases. No. The inside, inside the legs, we can put some creases. And again, the, for the creases, symmetry is not important. A clean cut is, come on. Doug. Right. So, if I made that one lower, maybe I'll make this one a little bit higher. Right. So, and you can do this all over the place. Hmm? So, I think we just about got this little fella. Dirty old hands. I'll dump some water on him to highlight the uh, creaks and crevices and we'll call our video. Look at this little puppy. What a good little puppy. She's just been patiently sitting there this whole time. Good girl, good girl. We're giving our hillbilly a bath here. <laughs> oh, well, there you have him. One little hillbilly. Hopefully in editing, the sun wasn't too much of a concern in this video, but uh, yeah, super fun little carvings. Have fun with them. Be careful. They are very addictive. So, well, that's all I got for you today. So don't forget to uh, check out woodcarvingillustrated.com and use promo code uh, LINKER, all caps. And uh, yeah, have a look at that magazine. Very worth your while. And until the next video, I will see you later. Keep your knife in the wood, carve some gnomes, I'm out, see ya.